In this video, you will learn how to perform a qualitative ELISA, or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. The ELISA uses antibodies to detect an antigen or antibody of interest by exploiting the tendency of proteins to adsorb or stick to a plastic microplate. In this activity, an ELISA will be used to detect the presence or absence of an antibody. Label a 12-well microplate strip. Label the first three wells with a plus for the positive controls and the next three with a minus for the negative controls. Label the remaining wells to identify the serum proteins being tested, three wells for each. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of purified antigen into each well of the 12-well microplate strip. Incubate the samples at room temperature for five minutes so that the antigen can bind to the plastic wells. Tip the microplate strip upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times. Make sure to avoid splashing sample back into the wells. Discard the wet paper towels. Use a transfer pipette to fill each well with wash buffer, taking care not to spill over into neighboring wells. Tip the microplate strip upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times. Discard the wet paper towels. Repeat the wash procedure for a second wash. Tip the microplate strip upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times to empty the wells of wash buffer. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of the positive control into the three wells labeled plus. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of the negative control into the three wells labeled minus. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of each serum sample into the corresponding three wells.
Remember to use a fresh pipette tip for each different serum sample. Incubate the samples for five minutes at room temperature so that the serum antibodies can bind to the antigens. Tip the microplate strip upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times to empty the wells of serum sample. At this point, repeat the wash procedure using wash buffer twice. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of secondary antibody or enzyme-linked antibody into each well of the microplate. Incubate the samples at room temperature for five minutes so that the secondary antibodies can bind to the serum antibodies. Tip the microplate strip upside down onto a short stack of paper towels and gently tap the strip a few times to empty the wells of secondary antibody. At this point, repeat the wash procedure using wash buffer three times. Use a fresh pipette tip to transfer 50 microliters of enzyme substrate into each well of the microplate strip. Incubate the samples at room temperature for five minutes. Observe and record the results into your notebook.